But one day, there was a huge storm. So huge, so windy, so much so that the tree collapsed. Now this is Ritz Grandeur in District 18, a beautiful freehold resort team development in Passeries. And today we're going to check out an extremely spacious 4 bader configuration with a size of 1539 square feet. Now if you're a low floor lover who enjoys a direct pool view and your family looking for space, space and more space, then I think you're in for a treat. Let's go! So one of the first things why we love this unit is due to the fact that there's only 4 units per level, not high in density, and we are located at a corner unit that comes along with a recess area. So you get this little outdoor private area for your shoes and stuff. So coming in, you get a nice dedicated foyer area, more storage for your shoes with the built-in cabinets, distribution board is nicely hidden within. So we are now at a 4 bader with a size of 1539 square feet and the size and space that you get at various parts of the house, they are pretty generous. Definitely not something you can commonly find in newer developments today. So we are situated on level 3 and if you are someone that enjoys a close connection to the pool and greenery, then I think this might just be the one for you. So for the rest of this home tour, because of their schedule, we're going to head back to the studio to share with you more. And I'll see you there. Alright, so we are back at our ATP studio and right here we'll walk you through the rest of this home tour. Now we have also fully staged the house in the virtual tour version so that you can have a better idea if you are looking to renovate the place. At the end of this video, we will show that to you as well. Now of course, if you'd like to have access, the link to the virtual tour is right in the description below. So first things first, Ridge Grandeur is located at the corner of Passerie Street 71 and Elias Road which is in close proximity to the exciting downtown East and just 3 stops away from the Passeries MRT station. By the year 2030, you can expect the new Cross Island Line to be up and running and Passeries MRT station is going to be one of the interchange that's going to link you directly towards Pongo or the Serangoon Amokyo area. Now if you're a beach lover, the Passeries Park is pretty close so you can just bring your family there over the weekends or you can just jog or cycle over there, very easily accessible. So this is a 4 bader unit with a size of 1539 square feet which is really ideal for a family. Comes along with your living and dining space which is nicely segregated away from each other. You have an enclosed kitchen for your heavy cooking, a home shelter for storage, a proper yard space for laundry, three common bedrooms and one master with an ensuite as well as a common bath. There's a total of three balconies which are situated next to your living, dining as well as your master room. Now a little bit about this project. So Rich Grandeur is developed by Phrases, completed in the year 2006, freehold in status which is going to withstand the test of time. There's a total of 453 units done up here that's made up of seven towers comprising two, three and four bedroom configurations. The unique thing about this project is how the facilities have been beautifully set in a resort atmosphere with lush tropical landscaping. And we're very excited to walk you through the facilities a little bit later. Now as you enter the house, our owners have cleverly installed full height mirrors along the foyer area which nicely breaks out the walls of the house, giving you the sense of spaciousness the moment you enter. First thing on the left, that will be your kitchen, enclosable with a sliding door. This is a nice rectangular kitchen with lots of tabletop space, done out with a see-through glass, so you can watch over your kids while whipping your meals. You get lots of top and bottom cabinetries for your kitchen items, dual sink right there, nice corner windows for ventilation during your heavy cooking, space for your fridge as well as a built-in cabinet right there. Here's a 3D drawing if you are looking to renovate the space. So as you move in closer, living space is to the right which is pretty sizable, viewing distance is great. All the aircons for this house have been changed about 3 years back so they are definitely in good shape. It has a 3 seater provision currently because our owners choose to fit in shelvings right here. If you have to remove this shelf then you can comfortably fit in a 5 seater for your family. So as we head to the balcony, Orientation wise, we are facing south and you get a wonderful pool facing from home. Little fun fact, previously there was actually a big tree right there. 
that blocks your view from the swimming pool. But one day, there was a huge storm. So huge, so windy, so much so that the tree collapsed. Thankfully, no one was hurt. And thanks to the act of God, we now enjoy a beautiful pool view. Nice. So the facilities here are definitely worth mentioning. This is a beautiful resort themed development with a man-made beach within. When you enter the development, you will be greeted with a pedestrian bridge that leads towards the entire facility zone. There's lots of pools right here, including a huge lab pool, a bubble pool, a jacuzzi as well as an interactive pool which is great for the kids. They will love the kids playground as well. A beautiful rare find here is a fish pond with a waterfall. I think it's something nice for the kids as well. There's an indoor gym, an outdoor fitness station. You get a full-size tennis court as well as a basketball court. Not forgetting 24 hours security and basement car park for drivers, which is very important. Now right opposite the living, your dining is nicely segregated into another zone. Can fit four to six people right now. Right here, you see full height mirrors. Originally, they were just concrete walls, but our owners love the sense of spaciousness at home. So the mirrors are nicely installed. Just imagine you can easily check your dressing Make sure everything is trim and proper before you head out in the morning. Now, of course, if you prefer to have concrete walls instead of mirrors, you can reconfigure it and mod out some paintings or family photos as well. Now for this unit, we like the fact that there's another balcony right here and this faces north. The earlier balcony faces south, so there's totally no afternoon sun. This is a fantastic single loading concept and that means that you get dual frontage for your living space which naturally allows a lot of breeze to pass through the house. In addition, you'll be getting lots of daylight penetration in the house as well, which we think is fantastic. So for low floor lovers, I think you will like this unit because you'll be able to get a direct greenery view. And that's the school right behind. Balcony size is pretty decent. For most of our neighbors, this area is used as an outdoor yard space for their laundry. This door here opens to your yard. You've got space to hang your laundry right above, space for your washer. WC is right there as well as a basin. Home shelter is right through this door, which is currently used as the helper's room. Good for your storage as well. All in all, I think it's a really functional and proper yard space. Definitely not something you can commonly find in newer condos these days. All right, why not let's chat a little bit about the prices that are trending right now within the vicinity. Nearest to us, that would be Belisa EC. Most recent unit was sold in the $1,000 per square foot region. You have overseas at Elias, averagely in the $900 over dollars per square foot range. Over at Stratum, units have changed hands in the range of 1000 to 1001 per square foot. View it, units have been recently sold up to 1286 per square foot. Over here at Ries Grandeur, the asking price is at 1.65 million negotiable, which translates to only about 1,000 over dollars per square foot. Moreover, these projects are all of 99 year tenures as opposed to Ries Grandeur that's of freehold status. So we believe that gives you a safe entry price benchmark with no worries of lease decay. Now, if you plan to exit this property, say in the next five to 10 years horizon, we can check out the latest new launch, Passeries 8, which received an overwhelming response during the launch day. There's units that have been sold up to $2,100 per square foot. And of course, the majority of the units are within the $1,005 to $1,008 per square foot mark. When these owners start to lease their properties four to five years down the road, that's going to cause an uplifting effect for all the properties in the Passeries landscape. Therefore, if you were to enter this property at the $1,000 per square foot mark, we think there's a healthy upside for you when you decide to exit in the future. So as you head to the foyer, you get an additional storage space along the walkway. Because of the huge amount of wall space that you get here, that will be perfect to mount up some paintings or some of your family photos. So two of the common rooms and the master faces the pool, which is the same direction as your living. Room size is generous, fitted with parquet finishes, can comfortably fit in a queen with space for a side table as well. Comes with bay windows with laminates done up. So that means you can display your collectibles and display items right there. 
If you like to fully utilize the space, what some of our neighbors did was to integrate the bay windows with a bed with carpentry that can be easily done up. Not forgetting the three panels of built-in wardrobe that's intact. Off to the common bath, done up with full-size white mirrors. Sunken space thoughtfully carved out for your toiletries. You get your standing shower, storage cabinets beneath the sink. The next common room, which is similar in layout and size as the one that we saw earlier. Bed has been decked up, that means you get additional storage space beneath the bed, which is fantastic. More storage at the side as well. The bed deckings have been cleverly leveled with the bed windows, so that allows you to fully maximize the space within. Again, all of the aircons in the rooms have been changed about 3 years back, so they are in great working condition. For this room, the wardrobes have been refreshed with nice tinted mirrors to fit in the colour theme of the room. Now of course, if you want to have a work from home zone, Zone within the house, I think this is going to be perfect to convert it into a study room to fit in your study desks. Third common room, by now you'll notice that all the sizes of the rooms are really generous as you can comfortably fit in a queen with side tables. There's pull-out drawers for additional storage beneath the bed on both sides, very smart design. Your study desk right here with storage compartments right above along with shelvings. For this room, it's pretty special because at any time, if you want to have a clean look, you can just cover up your study area with the built-in doors right here. And finally, let's check out the master. First thing you'll notice is there's four panels of full height wardrobe space, which I think is going to please the missus. Bed with side tables. Our owners has done this very special sliding doors on this side, you have your dresser with top hung cabinets above, ensuring no wasted space. And on this side is actually your TV space, which is a very nice design. And when you're not using them, you can just hide them away with the sliding doors. Additional glass shelving is right beside to display your personal items or simply use it as storage. Now, because there's already a huge amount of wardrobe space in this room, if you want the traditional way of just mounting your TV in front of your bed, that's very possible as well. You get balcony space attached to the master, which is always a great bonus. Comes with planter space for gardening. You're facing the pool and greenery right here, which is lovely. Ensuite is very, very spacious. Even comes with a long buff. White mirrors done up from wall to wall as well. Very clean. Your enclosed standing shower at that corner. Don't you love it when you have such a spacious bathroom? And so if you're wondering about the amenities within the vicinity, for transportation, the Pasir Ris MRT is just about three stops away. If you're driving, you're just one minute away from the TPE which connects you to the CTE if you're heading towards the town area. Plenty of options as well if you plan to visit a shopping mall such as Elias Mall, Pasir Ris West Plaza, White Sands as well as the Tampines IKEA along with Giant and the Cox Mega Store right there as well. If that's not enough, you're about 10 minutes drive away from Jewel at Changi Airport. Some of the schools within 1km will include Parkview Primary, Elias Primary, as well as Meridian Primary School. Alright, so if you're someone that's looking for a huge 4 bather that's more than 1,500 square feet, freehold in status with no worries on lease decay, you're a low floor lover who enjoys the direct greenery and the pool view, and you want to live in the Pasir Ris area in District 18, do reach out to us. Details are all in the link right below. Here on the like and subscribe button, this is Andrew Ho, A Team Property, the A Team for your property. Third, one more time. Ah, and today we're gonna charge you. How come cannot? Okay, it's a wrap.